Hello everyone, today we're gonna to teach you how to run a motor injection machine. This machine has been designed and developed and open sourced by El Tornillo here in Bogota. If you wanna learn how to build this machine, watch the video in the description below. So for today's tutorial, we're gonna be making quite a simple product. However, the power of this machine is that it's run with a motor, so it can output much more pressure, which means that you can use much more advanced molds, which can result in much more fine and detailed products. All right, so now we're gonna be switching roles. I'm gonna be going behind the camera and Andres is gonna come on this side of the camera. Hi, my name is Andres from El Tornillo and today I'm gonna to show you how to run this machine. First, of course, you have to start the machine to preheat all the barrel. Then you have to set up the temperature according to the material that you are going to use. Today, we're going to be using PP. PP or polypropylene can be melted between 160 and 180. So the first step is to add the material through the hopper and fill the barrel. As we just turn it on, we have to wait around 25 minutes until the machine is completely hot and the plastic is melted. During these 25 minutes, make sure you press the plastic down with the piston so you'll get all the air out of the barrel and you will have a complete charge inside the barrel. This machine runs with this motor. This motor moves this pulley that will move the piston Piston. and with this switch I can choose if the piston goes up or down. So it's super easy and super fast to inject for larger productions and you, will, you won't get tired out at the end. Okay, so today we're going to use this mold. We're going to make a plant pot. You can find it in the bazaar. This is a very simple mold. You can use it with the basic injection machine, but remember that with this machine, you can make more complex molds. Unlike the basic injection machine of precious plastic, this one has a conic nozzle because it's very easy to use and makes it a faster process. Okay, after 25 minutes, the the plastic is already melted inside the barrel. So now we're going to put the mold, press it against the barrel and make the injection. A tip here is that you should make this process as fast as you can. Place the mold, press it against the barrel and do the injection in the minimum time. So when you are making the injection, I mean while the piston is coming down, you have to be aware of two things. If one of those things happen, you have to stop the motor. So the first thing is if the belt slips in the motor belt, it means mostly that the mold is going to be full and the injection completed. Then you just have to wait five seconds with the belt slipping in the, in the pulley to maintain the pressure and then you can turn it back upwards. Sometimes this belt slipping can mean that there's an obstruction in the nozzle or in, in the entrance of the mold, so you will just end up with an incomplete uh, injection. And that depends on the quality of your plastic. Still, you have to wait the five seconds and then stop the motor and go back upwards. The second thing to be aware of is if you find any leakage in the entrance of the mold. This can mean that the mold is already full or that the connection between the mold and the nozzle isn't tight enough. Now that the injection is completed, we want to refill the barrel to keep a continuous process so we don't lose time waiting for the plastic to be molten. Now the injection is ready. We have refilled the barrel again now we're going to release them all and see how the injection came up. Okay, so we, here we have the first injection of this machine. It didn't came out properly, but this is a great opportunity to tell you why this can happen and how to fix it. There are three main reasons why the injection can fail. So the first likely issue might be the temperature. So you want to increase the temperature of the plastic so it can be a little bit more, more molten and flow easier. The second reason can be that the belt isn't tight enough and you are losing motor power in the injection. So what you have to do is to move this motor to, to the side so you can tension more the belt. So the third reason may be that the connection between the mold and the nozzle isn't proper and you will have some leakage here and you will lose some pressure inside the mold. So to avoid that, you may want to use a proper nozzle, a female conic, and maybe add more pressure in the jab. Okay, so let's give it a second chance and let's improve our first failed attempt. 
We changed the nozzle so it's a conic female and it will fit perfectly in the nozzle of the machine. We also boosted up the temperature 10 degrees so we make sure the plastic is fully melted. Okay, so first injection was 25 minutes while we waited for the machine to heat up and melt the plastic. But the second time that the machine is already hot, we just have to wait up to 15 minutes or less depending on the quantity of material you are using from the barrel. If you use more than half of the barrel, you will have to wait up to 15 minutes or maybe you can do it continuously without waiting if you are using just a little bit of the barrel. So it starts spinning. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Okay. Are you happier? I'm relieved. <laughs> Okay, so a good product should copy exactly the, the shape of the, of the mold. If the mold is shiny, it should look like shiny. If the mold has, has some texture or engravings, it should copy those engravings completely. Yeah, it should, it should not have any additional texture. So, success? <clears throat> yeah, this is a success. Okay, so today we made this pot, flower pot, uh, but we can also do some more complex molds like this keychain or maybe some sunglasses. Okay, thank you Andres. This is how you run this motored injection machine. You can find the how-tos on how to make the machine and all the molds that you've seen today on preciousplastic.com. If you have any question, comment on the how-to, get on Discord, send Andres an email, whatever you find the easiest, comment on YouTube. I very much hope that you find this uh, tutorial useful and helpful and once again, I wanna very much thank Andres for your time and all your knowledge and skills. Super, 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 super beneficial for the whole precious plastic movement. Thank you very much. And I'll see you all in the next video. Ciao. Adios. Adios.